makes it more exciting, don't you think? All right. Starting with volume two, chapter eight, I believe. Oh, that's a cute picture. Volume two. Laid you damn nerd. The Uniform Subsidy. Students submit quirk registration and bodily specification forms before starting school. Then, a support company affiliated with the school prepares costumes for everyone. What an awesome system! Students attach request forms and their specifications are transformed into efficient, cutting-edge costumes. I gotta go get a quirk registry from City Hall, but I've already been registered as quirkless. What do I do? Quirk registry form? Ah, you can update that. For real? Most kids are diagnosed and registered all at once during elementary school. But now and then, you might have someone who says, I thought my quirk just shot water out of my body, but now I know it actually works off moisture from the surrounding air. So, they allow for one or two updates. Major alterations aren't accepted, but you'll probably be okay since you started with nothing. I'm home! Did I say probably? I meant def- I hung up by accident! Welcome back! Hey, Izuku! Congratulations on getting in! This may be a bit too soon, but... A jumpsuit? I realize it's not the coolest costume out there. One time when you fell asleep while studying, I noticed your notebook open. I said something awful to you. I've always regretted that. Back then, I just gave up on you. But you never quit, Izuku. You kept chasing your dreams. I'm sorry, Izuku. So now, I'll be cheering you on with everything I've got. Th uh, this symbolizes my mom's love. How could I possibly wear anything else? Even when people are in trouble, he saves them with a smile. Who cares if it's not efficient or cutting edge? A super cool hero like that. This is my costume. <laughs> Shall we begin, my wards? It's time for battle training. Deku, cool costume. Really practical looking. Uraraka, whoa. I wish I'd been more specific on my request form. The suit's so puffy and curvy. Being in the hero course is the best. Huh? We're all here then? Looking good. Hmm? <laughs> Way to make it obvious. Sensei, this appears to be the same field used during the Entrix exam. Will we once again be performing cityscape maneuvers? So that's Ida then. So cool. No, you'll be moving on to step two. Indoor anti-personnel battle training. Villain battles are most commonly seen outdoors, but statistically the most heinous villains are more likely to appear indoors. Between confinement, house arrest, and black market deals in this hero-filled society of ours, the cleverest villains out there lurk indoors. You'll now be split into villain teams and hero teams and face off in a two-on-two -two indoor battles. They will. So, so no, no basic training? Practical experience teaches you the basics. The distinction here is that you won't be fighting disposable robots. What determines victory? Can I just blast everyone away? Are you threatening to expel someone like Aizawa Sensei did? How do we proceed to divide ourselves into teams? How fabulous is my gift? What at the time? My quirk isn't super hearing. Listen up. Here's the deal. The villains will be hiding a nuclear weapon in their hideout. And the heroes have to go in and take care of it. Like a plot from Western comics. The heroes have a limited time to either capture the villains or secure the weapon. The villains must either capture the heroes or protect the weapon until time is up. 
Your battle partners will be decided by drawing lots. Is that really the best way? Makes sense, because pros often have to team up with heroes from other agencies on the spot during emergencies. I see. I apologize for getting ahead of myself. My mistake. It's fine. Let's just get to it. <laughs> A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. Nice. Must be fate. Let's do this. Seriously, I can barely say two words to her. Moving on. First up are these. The heroes are Team A. The villains are Team D. The villain team goes in first. The timer starts in five minutes when the hero team sneaks in. The rest of us will watch via CCTV. Ida, Bakugo, you boys need to adopt a villain mindset. This is practical experience, so go all out. Don't hold back. Though I will stop you if you take things too far. Well, I mean, we're up a cut against Kachan. Ida, too. We just better be on guard. Bakugo's the one who bullies you, right? I'll surpass even All Might and become the greatest hero! He may be a jerk, but he's amazing. His goals, his confidence, his strength, his quirk. He's stronger than me in every way. But that's why I don't want to lose to him. So, you're like his fated rival or whatever. Uh, sorry, so I'm sure I'm boring you with all this. No, not at all. We're a team. Come on. Indoor anti-personnel train battle training. Start. Target. Building basement monitor room. Watch closely and try to learn something, everyone. Midori, kid, you're just another student here. No favoritism for you when it comes to grading. Successful infiltration. Lots of blind corners, so watch out. I still can't regulate one for all, so I can't use it directly against someone. 100% power would probably kill them. All we've got is my natural strength and Uraraka's zero gravity. We'll have to make do. Scope out the whole space. My notes on indoor scenarios and tight spaces in general. Gotta remember that. A sneak attack? Ah! He grazed me. You okay, Uraraka? Yeah, thanks. He came out of nowhere. Nice dodging, Deku. Kachan was sure to come straight at me. I knew it. That's a low buck ago. Sneak attacks are so unmanly. Yet they are a valid strategy. This is practical experience. That Mitsuri sure can dodge. You're mess. I'll mess you up just enough to not be disqualified. Nice. What a pro move. What the? Did he just read my moves? Ugh. Ah, burr, burr, burr. Smash. Blah. Kachan, you almost always lead with that right hook. I've seen enough of it to know. You see, I've analyzed heroes I think are awesome in that notebook of mine. The one you blew up and chucked out the window. I'm not going to be your worthless punching bag, Deku forever. Kachan, I'm... I'm the Deku who always does his best. But Deku, well, it just screams, do your best. I kind of like it. You spelt that crap, almost scared out of your mind. Darn that Bakugo, running off on his own. What could he be thinking, really? It pisses me off! Alright. Moving on to chapter 9. Hmm. Tea break. All right, starting on chapter nine, and no pause for the weary, here we go. 
We grew up in the same neighborhood, so me and Kachan were childhood friends. He was the fearless type who could do anything, so he became the leader and troublemaker of our little gang. He wasn't bad or good, just full of confidence, and I admired him for that. But after his quirk manifested, he started down the path towards the bad. People are not born equal. At the young age of four, I realized that about our society. It pisses me off. Hey, Bakugo, update me on the situation. What's happening? Shut up and keep watch. I'm ready to wreck someone. Don't let your emotions get the better of you. Hey! <sighs> he cut his transceiver. What a scoundrel. What are they saying? These fixed cameras don't have any sound. They're communicating with microtransceivers. We give them to the battlers along with the building blueprints. Also, this capture tape. Tying this around your opponent is sufficient proof of capture. So they've only got 15 minutes, but the heroes don't know the location of the weapon, right? The hero teams are at a real disadvantage, huh? It's like Aizawa told you. Say it with me. Plus Ultra! Ah, Monsieur Bakugo is... Pow! Run on ahead, Uraraka! Ugh! Worry about yourself! The capture tape! Page 18 of notebook. Number 10. Good thing I studied up. What comes next? If I know Cha Kachan, he'll rage and come at me again. Damn you! His usual right hook! He's amazing! Going toe-to-toe -to -toe without using his quirk against the top scorer in the entrance exam. From the very start, he's excelled at decision-making. All that info the kid's been recording over the years, it soaked straight into that obsessed fanboy head of his. I had him, but... You can be a hero! After all the support he gave me, it's time to show what I'm made of. Looks like one moat won't be enough to hold him. Gotta come up with a strategy. Get back here, Deku! Hey, must have been fun, yeah? Tricking me this whole time? Right? Hiding that flashy quirk of yours. So bring it on! I'll still crush you! He's a really... He's really angry. Midoriya told me about how Bakugo is as conceited as they come. Looks like his head's swollen up a bit too much. Hmm. <sighs> he came straight for me, flattered, ignoring Uraraka. I get it. Ida should have been the vanguard. With his superior maneuverability, and I suspect Ida knows that. So this is probably just Kachan rampaging on his own. There's no teamwork going on here. If both of them had come right at us from the start, then our chances of winning would have been slim. And if I'd stuck with Uraraka... That's probably what would have happened. The two of us would have wasted too much time dealing with Kachan. No, this is good. As long as Uraraka can go after the weapon and capture Ida, I'll follow after her, making it a two-on-one. We can win this! Of course, that's assuming I can actually beat Kachan. I'll be fine. Just have to watch out for his palms. You're totally quirkless. And you think you can rub shoulders with me? I wasn't saying I could compete with you. Not at all. I forgot to mention this, Kachan, but I take that all back. That's why I'm going. That freaking pebble. Izuku, you really can't do anything, can you? I'm Deku. I'm the Deku who always does his best. You know, Izuku can be read as Deku. Whoa, you can read kanji, Kachan? What? You can't? And Deku means someone who can't do anything. Knock it off. Wow, Kachan, you're so smart. Why can't you understand? Wow, Kachan, how many skips was that? Seven. How about you, Deku? None. Why, you're such a loser. Oh, another impressive quirk. You could be a hero with a flashy quirk like that, Kotsky. Makes sense. I'm awesome. 
I'm better than anyone else. Your quirk's so cool, Kachan. Hope I get mine soon. Whatever you get, no way it'll beat mine. Just a damn pebble. Did you hear? Deku doesn't have a quirk. Right? He's quirkless. Sucks to be him. Deku, he's not awesome at all. Whoa! Kachan fell in. Hey, you okay? You look like you needed to be saved. But I'm better than him. Maui, you just gotta stay hidden until Deku shows up. Bakugo has a natural tendency towards troublemaking, so this exercise is perfectly suited to him. <laughs> I suppose I must also take on the role of a villain. Though it brings shame to the Ida family name, this training will help me become a better man. I must commit. To become a hero, I will cloak myself in darkness. <laughs> I am the ultimate evil. <laughs> So you've come, Uraraka. I calculated as much once Bakugo ran off on his own. I know your quirk allows you to levitate objects you touch. So before you arrived, I enacted a counter strategy against you by removing all objects on this floor. <laughs> your little tricks won't work here. You've miscalculated, hero. <laughs> He knew I was reading him, so he read with a kick. His guard is up. It won't be easy to get past his defenses again. I need a strategy. Deku, Uraraka, what is it? Ida found me. Sorry. I'm inching back, but... Where are you? I don't want to get rough with her, but... Fifth floor, right in the center. So right above me. Only a little time left. And it's their win if we run out of the clock. Not here. I don't want to lose here. I mowed it up. Why not use it? You mocking me, Deku. Kachan. It's now or never. I can do it. I can. I'm not afraid of you anymore. Guessing you know all this from your stalking, but... The sweat glands on my palms secrete. Something like nitroglycerin. That's how I make my explosions. Hmm? Assuming they honored my design requests, the gauntlet's been storing that fluid. Don't tell me he's gonna... Bakugo, stop it now, kid. You trying to kill him? He won't die if it's not a direct hit! Beep, 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 beep. All right, we got to finish this one off. I believe there's only one more. All right, moving on to number 10. Breaking Bakugo. Breaking Bakugo. Here we go, going right into it. For the heroes to win, they must either capture the villains or secure the weapon. But the villains win if they can capture the heroes or protect the weapon until time runs out. What the? Is that Bakugo? What on earth is he doing? This is my chance. Oh. Securing the weapon means we win. I won't allow it. To do that, I only have to touch it. Whee! So you can levitate your own body? Dispel! This special move takes a lot out of me. <laughs> awesome, huh? What's wrong, Deku? Come on, you're not dead yet. An explosion he can direct forward? Guess he wanted a way to attack at range. What's happening, Uraraka? Ignoring me, huh? Sensei, shouldn't you stop him? Baka goes crazy. He's looking to kill. No. I'll mess you up just enough not to be disqualified. He won't die if it's not a direct hit. Strangely, 
A part of him seems calm. Not sure if he's just that petty or what, anyhow. Bakugo, use that move again and I will forcibly end the match. You will lose. Using massive attacks like that indoors is just asking to have your own stronghold destroyed, whether hero or villain. It's a bad move, and a good way to lose points. As a teacher, I should absolutely stop this now. However... Oh, come on, man! The pillar by the window? Got it. Time to pound you! Damn it, I can't dodge! A counterattack. Just gotta time it! No! He used the first explosion to simultaneously faint and change his own tack. Then he followed up immediately with another. He doesn't seem like a thinker, but that strategy was fairly intricate. Damn, but this guy's good. Ugh! Here we go, your old favorite, my right hook. Slam! Ha! Ah! Deku, you're nothing compared to me. He's not giving me any time to think. Damn, he's just too strong. I have to use it. This is just torture now. He could have already ended it with the capture tape. Not very heroic-like of him. I thought Midoriya was good, but Bakugo's battle sets just can't be beat. He's all instinct. He's running. He's not manly, but he doesn't have a choice. It's odd. Why won't you use your quirk? You mocking me? Ever since we were kids, you always have. You're wrong. I know you're looking down on me. I should stop them, but I can't take this from him. It's because you're so awesome that I want to beat you. I want to win. I want to beat you, you idiots. I haven't seen him this pumped up the whole I wanted since the whole I want to be a hero thing. Stop looking at me like that, you damn nerd. Bakugo sure is confident. For the future he strives for, this battle is absolutely necessary. Detroit? Sensei, this looks bad. Sensei! Both of you. Both of you. Stop. Now, Uraraka. Okay. One-on-one. -on -one. I still can't measure up. But. Ida, sorry. Gotta improvise. Comet home run. That's no home run. That, from the start, you've been mocking me. I didn't want to use it because I can't really. The blowback messes me up too much. It's just like Aizawa Sensei said, but it's all I could think of. Secured! The weapon! The hero! The hero team wins!